So yesterday I created and released Bye Spy, which was a great success and thank you for all the likes and kind comments you've provided. So this morning I thought I'd put together some quick updates for you. So if we open up our script that we've downloaded, here we can see we have a backdoor. This script was downloaded from a leak forum and this backdoor would finger us in the arsehole and jeopardize everything on our network. So I created a tool to help you scan multiple scripts at once and check for bad code or anything that can jeopardize your network and server. So if we open up our by spy, so here we can go. I'm going to start running my tool now. And here is my new by spy tool. So the first thing you're going to notice is there's a new button and I've added a delete button, which I'll go through shortly for you. So as always, I'm going to drag one of my scripts into the scripts folder. Now you can obviously just search via the tool, but I like to just drag the scripts in the folder because I, I normally scan more than one script at once and this would allow me to scan hundreds of scripts at the same time. So now that my script's in the folder, I can just start scanning and see if I can find the back door. So here we found the back door. And as you can see from the output window, I've also made changes to make it a lot more readable instead of a uh, Python list. You're going to notice two um, requests because of the HTTP and the perform requests. I've also gone ahead and added Discord webhooks. So every time you do a scan and if you were to find something in one of your scripts, it will send it to your Discord just for you to log at a later date. Another thing I thought would be useful would be adding a delete button. So for example, if you have a hundred scripts which are all infected with backdoors, you can just press the delete button and it's going to automatically comment out that code. So the code is not ran on your server. So if we go ahead and open our script that we looked at a moment ago, which had the back door, and as you can see, it has been commented out. So this means you don't have to open up a Lua file, find the line that's infected, manually delete it or comment it out. The tool will do it for you and you can do this to multiple scripts at the same time, saving you quite a long time and giving you a lot of peace of mind. So these are just some simple changes that I've made and this tool is free for you to use. And also you get an extra 10 additional points if you know where this song is for this video, because me and you probably both share emotional, emotional damage. And don't forget to like the video if you want to know how to finger blast these motherfuckers.